Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to communicate, how to integrate Excel sheet with NetSuite with the help of Python. Now see, suppose you have uh, deployed uh, NetSuite on in, in any company, right? As a project. Now, one employee says that he is familiar with only Excel sheet. He needs the sales order data, but he, he does not want to log in in NetSuite. So we have to provide a way in which he can just click a button in NetSuite in Excel sheet and immediately the data should be fetched. That means he need not to log in in NetSuite. Many times it is required that we need to fetch the data from NetSuite record. Or we can say here it is written Python page or we can say Excel sheet also. Suppose if a, an, an employee is familiar only with Excel sheet. In that case, what will happen? He says that I don't want to, I don't understand this uh, NetSuite product. I just need Excel sheet connectivity. So this is the scenario that we are going to see. So first of all, we need Python should be installed on your system. All the necessary libraries should be installed on your system, right? And the restlet link should be created. Okay. Now let's see some practical. See here what I have done here. This is a normal Excel sheet in which I have written some code in the back end. If I go to developer and in the visuals to basic, here is very simple code written. I have just given the Python exe file path. And here is the NetSuite restlet pi file, right? This is what the pi file with that I'm talking about. And after that, here is our Python pi file. This is our pi file. See here. Now, what happened here? The restlet creation, we know we already uh, learned it very well, right? See here. First of all, we have created a restlet in which we have created a saved search in which all the information regarding everything that we are fetching. We are fetching here created date, document number and the amount. See here, created date, document number and the amount, right? And then json.stringify, we are just sending that data, right? Now let's see the Python code also. What Python code? URL is here. Token ID, token secret, as we have learned in our last videos. HTTP method is get and the this is our account ID. Then Let's see here. This is the standard formula that is OAuth request. And then here, if you go tuple, we are converting the data into tuples. And then we are importing some libraries here. See here. Excel application because we need the data in, uh, to be populated in Excel sheet. Then my workbook. This is the sheet name. You can see NetSuite restlets right so here we have taken and then open pi excel is the library in python we have imported it and one by one whatever the data comes it will be appended in this netsuite restlet dot xlsm right so this is how this is the code of python it's a very simple code and now as soon as i hit the button immediately one command will run in the command prompt and that command prompt will invoke the pi file and with the help of that pi file the restlet command will be executed the restlet will send the data in the form of json and that data will be populated here now see here how it is done sales order of august till date right I click here immediately the command runs in command prompt just a second here it is now see here let me show you here these are 117 that is 117 records right that means august to till date now 
if I show you here, this is the saved search here and here it is 117, right? So 117, that means 117 records are here. Now, one more thing I would like to show you. If I see here, SO2895, SO2895, 574.29, 574.2288. So this is how we have imported all 117 counts. That is 117 records. In this, we have fetched just the internal, uh, the date of creation, the date of creation, document number document number means the sales order number and amount means the amount whatever the amount is it comes in serial number right in the serial way whatever it is so this is how we could ex uh, import now a person who is not familiar with netsuite he can also make use of this data or whatever he want to calculate he can do it so there is one more scenario that the company wants to um, company says that we don't want uh, to give the access to all the employees only few persons now a person who is uh, requiring only the downloaded sheet then why do we provide him the login access we can do it in this way also so in that uh, situation also we can use this method we can connect an excel sheet provide him a button whatever data you want we will provide you so guys this is one live uh, scenario from a project and uh, i recommend you to practice this and if you have any doubt you can uh, put your comment i will resolve it and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel for further videos thank you guys thanks for watching the video